I'm a rock star. Got money in my jeans, sipping walk hard. She praying for my fall, so I flex hard. She praying for my fall, so I flex hard. I'm a rock star. Got money in my jeans, sipping walk hard. She praying for my fall, so I flex hard. She praying for my fall, so I flex hard. Yo, what's going on guys, it's me Tommy, and welcome back to a uh, bit of a unusual video for me to make. Um, but yeah, basically what we're going to be doing today is a setup tour. I'm going to be showing you everything that I have um, not changed because I haven't really showed my YouTube channel uh, what my setup used to look like. But I'm going to show what my setup looks like right now and yeah. So before we get into this video, uh, I just want to make it clear that I'm not bragging about anything that I have. I'm just making this purely for entertainment and that, you know, you can maybe look at your setup and see if there's anything in mind that you'd like to upgrade to yours or anything like that. So, yeah, if you do go on to enjoy the video as well, please hit that thumbs up. Um, yeah, let's get into it. So this is my setup. Now, it doesn't look special in any way. Um... But yeah, this is this is it, and I'm gonna show you literally everything that's on it and what makes this special to me. So yeah, so I'm gonna start off with the peripherals. We have a Logitech G203, uh, very scuffed up. I know uh, this thing falls off here quite easily. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a decent mouse. Uh, I've had it for quite a while now. Um, thinking maybe upgrading at some point. Um, but yeah, it does the job and you know, can't say much uh, negative about it. It's a decent budget mouse. If anyone's looking for one, I definitely recommend this. Um, so yeah, the keyboard that I'm using is the MK21. Um, this is an Amazon keyboard, uh, a 6% one. I don't know a whole lot about keyboards, but I know this is okay. It's got these brown switches, as you can see here. Um, it's quite dirty, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I haven't done any mods to it apart from foam mod because it, it sounded quite loud. It doesn't sound too bad now, um, but yeah, it's it's just some 6% that I saw on Amazon. I was like, okay, yeah, let me buy that. So yeah, so then we're going to move on to the monitors. So this is my main monitor. This is the Acer K22 HQL, um, 1080p. 70 hertz it's not too bad um i only have one complaint and that is that it has no audio um built into it like it has no speakers and there's no audio jack so i can't connect speakers up to it and you know just say game with them however it's perfect for an xbox one s which this thing is so dirty ignore that um but yeah works perfectly i have no complaints about it apart from obviously no built on speakers but yeah looks perfect i believe it's 24 inch so it's it's pretty much, yeah, it's pretty much what I can ask for. Just above the monitor, we have a Naluxi webcam. I believe that's how you say it. There it is, uh, for anyone wondering. Um, I don't actually use this thing a lot because I barely stream. Um, and when I do, this thing is pretty okay. You know, it's not the best quality. It's only 1080p. Um, but yeah, it's okay. Um, yeah, I don't really have any complaints about it. And that is held up by this if i can get this down there we go this is uh i don't know what monitor stand is i'll quickly pop a link or a photo on the screen of what monitor stand this is um but as you can see that they're holding both my monitors up um and that is how this whole setup is held up so yeah and then above it we have some beautiful posters we have two juice world posters um yeah it just adds to the setup makes it look extra beautiful and you can kind of see them leds behind um which yeah yeah i don't really like but yeah so these are some cool posters just a bit of artwork adds to the setup um yeah i got these custom made so if anyone wants to know where i got them from i got them on etsy and the frames on amazon so yeah okay moving on now we have my second monitor um and this is a medion as you can see that there medion monitor i'm not yeah not sure don't have a clue about this monitor it was just in my garden shed um and i've had this thing for about three years um so yeah couldn't tell you a lot about it but yeah it's very very old um to even get it to work with hdmi i had to buy an adapter so you can kind of guess the age of it and how old it is but it works super well you know it's got a good response time 
if I show you quickly. Um, yep, got a good response time. Um, obviously, I've got Discord open right now, but uh, this linked up to my computer. So, yeah, it's just beautiful. Uh, just nice and easy when I'm gaming or whatever to come up. You know, obviously, it opens tabs, whatever. You know, do what I need to do when I am playing my video games. Or if I'm streaming, then I can quickly just come over here, pop my stream up, make sure everything's working or doing that. So, yeah, perfect. I actually love this thing so much. Um, and it just adds so much character um, to the setup. So behind uh, this monitor, we have my Xbox, uh, which is, yeah, it's very old now. Uh, I bought this thing, I believe it was like the second week after it came out. So I've had it for a while now, and you can kind of see the discoloration, the scratches and the abuse that it's had. Um, <laughs> but yeah, and to the left of that, we have someone, I will not say her name, because yeah. And then we have... Um, what even is this? Uh, controller stand with a fake Supreme sticker on. Um, I've had this forever, and the batteries really are so old now, and they last about 20 minutes. So yeah, probably gonna need a new uh, dock for charging my controllers. I'm looking around trying to find my second controller. Um, but anyway, this is held up by these two Amazon shelves, and then we got my big tv up there so yeah it's kind of a cool little system uh with dom's charger over there um yeah kind of random i guess <laughs> if we take a look under this monitor you can see uh unplugged hdmi so if i just come under here and unplug this quickly plug this one in yeah hold on a sec hold on hold up then we press this on, that monitor goes off, and the TV turns on, and there we go. Yeah, it's kind of cool because i got my bed here, and I can just lay in bed watching Netflix, whatever, YouTube. Um, so yeah, that's cool. And I want to show a quick, cool little feature with this car. Yeah, look, I actually installed a full light kit on this car. Super cool, it's got even it in the rear, you know. I'm just swag like that. I love Lego cars. As you can probably see that one there. And we got Doug here. Shout out to Luca if you're watching this. You'll know exactly who this beautiful, beautiful swan duck thing is. Um, but yeah, kind of cool when all the lights are off. This thing just lights up the room. So yeah. Finally, we take a look down this little crevice behind my bed. Um, ignore the cable management down here. I promise you it's actually good. But um, yeah. So we have my laptop or computer, whatever you want to call it down here. And I'll take this out in a sec so you can look or whatever at that. Um, but yeah, I've got my Wi-Fi here and I just want to quickly show you a cool thing. So if I wanted to swap my webcam, keyboard and mouse out with my Xbox and plug that in, I have this, uh, what is it? It's a, yeah, however you say that. It's basically a USB hub where I can quickly unplug it, plug it into the back of my Xbox. I don't know what I was doing there, but yeah, I can plug it back into my Xbox and I can play games on keyboard and mouse and, you know, stream. So, yeah, let me get this computer out and then I'll show you, yeah. So this is my laptop. Um, Yeah, I don't know much about it. I kind of just got it. I know the fact that it's Acer. I know the fact it's got an i3 in it. Um, It's not the fastest laptop in the world, but it does the trick. Um, As you can see, we got... Um, Twitch installed, PowerPoint, all that, Spotify, and Logitech G Hub for my mouse. Um, yeah, I don't know a lot about computers, um, and I only have this kind of thing. So, yeah, uh, it's it's a start, you know, it's a start. So, what can I say? It works, and I'm completely fine with that. You know, obviously, it links up to my monitor. So, yeah, what more can I say? It works perfectly fine. There was one thing I forgot to add, and that was my headset. This is my HyperX CloudX um, headset. I've had this for about two years, yeah? And I promise you, it is the best headset I've ever had. I had a Razer Kraken X Lite whilst having this as well. And this was bit like, oh, just Razer, go away. Like, honestly, go away. No, but all seriousness, if you're looking for a good Xbox headset, or a headset in general, get this. The, the HyperX Cloud X. This thing is honestly so good. Um, yeah, super durable if you're a FIFA player or, I don't know, competitive player and you throw your headset a lot. This thing has taken a lot of abuse and is still working perfectly fine. 
and I actually love it. I love it so much. It fits so nicely. It just feels so good. So, yeah. So I know this setup is nothing special by any means, but it is a setup and it works perfectly fine. And I really like it. I really like it. I'm not going to lie to you. I don't personally see anything wrong with this setup. It works completely fine for me. Um, I've had it for quite a while now um, and I really, really like it. So, yeah. For me, going into this and trying to build uh, my like dream setup, I wanted to build something that worked completely fine for me, was absolutely what I wanted, and didn't cost a whole lot of money. And what really made me do that was looking at other people's setups, um, like these big influencers and streamers, and take from that what I actually needed and what was just unnecessary and costed a ridiculous amount, like what they had. So I think personally for me, this is perfect because it didn't cost me a whole lot of money um, and I'm so happy that I have it and I'm fortunate that I actually have something like this. But at the same time, it didn't cost me a whole lot. It looks good, it works well for me um, and I'm overall happy with what I have achieved. So yeah, big thumbs up for that. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Like I said earlier in the video, if you did like it, make sure to hit that thumbs up. Um, as well as that, I have a new song out now. It's called Liquor. Um, I'll leave a link in the description if you want to take a look at that. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. Peace.